I've often come home, um, clearly when she was in, going through a major bout of depression, uh, I'd be very worried if she didn't, if I came home and she didn't answer, or if I called and, you know, she didn't speak up. I, I was, I've many times thought, oh gosh, maybe something happened here. Maybe she killed herself. You have to pursue the question. You just don't say, how are you doing? And because a lot of people don't want to burden you with their lives because they, people don't want to be whiners. In this society, uh, you don't want to be a whiner. Uh, you don't want to be a complainer. And Teresa doesn't want to be any of those things. Sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's, it's just physically obvious. And sometimes it's not. Um, and the real challenge is, as a spouse, you have to know whether a moderate um, episode of depression is is turning and evolving into much, something much bigger. Uh, I think the average person out there that doesn't understand depression, doesn't suffer from it, doesn't understand um, the human brain's ability to tell itself you're better off dead. And there's that, uh, that is a major component, in my opinion, of the disease. That's something that people can't necessarily see on the outside, but that's something that can be communicated. So that is um, probably the, the biggest sign that you have to be aware of. Um, and you really have to ask the question, as disturbing as it is. Um, I've learned that you really, um, when somebody's really depressed, you really have to say, uh, are you thinking about suicide? Because God forbid, if you didn't ask the question, it happened. Every day, you know, we wake up and we're like, well, who's going to get the kids after school? Or who's going to go to the store? Today, I had to take the dogs into the veterinarian. So uh, it's, it's challenging, um, and it's not always fun. Sometimes I wish I could just get up and leave the house at 6 in the morning and come back, come back 12 hours later. That would, that would be a little mentally easier on me. But I don't think it, that would be the best for Therese. Uh, I think Therese really needs to kind of, part of her therapy is, is working. And I think it's, it's, it's helpful for her. And ultimately, she's healthier. So I guess if she's healthier, we're all healthier. It's really hard in this society, I think, finding support as a caretaker. Uh, maybe I should join a support group, but I don't really have time for that. So, you know, you have to, I guess in a sense, we've formed our own support group. Um, and if, if you don't have that as a couple, I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't, if, if we didn't have each other. Mental illness is a lot of work. It's very tiring. It's frustrating. Um, it never goes away. It, it truly doesn't. It, you, it, it might be in a good state for a while, but it's, 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 it's always in the background. It's always lurking. It's always kind of waiting to jump out. So. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not interested in giving up or quitting, um, uh, so, you know, I, I'm tired. A lot of times I am tired, I'm frustrated, I'm cranky, and it comes out, um, but you have to keep moving forward, you know. If you want to stay married, if you want to keep your job, if you want, you know, to keep being a good father, you have to kind of keep going. You know, every day is a struggle, um, but, every, you know, it's, it's, it's all rewarding too.